During the final football match of the season against the Rangers, Dev quickly takes possession, but falls before scoring a goal. He is awarded a penalty and scores the most important goal of his career for his team. Dev's wife Rhea is applying for her dream job at the fashion magazine Diva and seems confident of her abilities. Rishi knocks on his father Sam's door to find him in bed with a woman. They're late for Rishi's wedding with Maya, but Sam feels he's just fulfilling the promise he made to his late mother to enjoy his life. Rhea is excited about getting the job, but it hurts Dev that she isn't there for an important match. His despair is short-lived because he has a $5 million contract in hand after his performance. It's also their wedding anniversary, but Dev forgets the date again. Rishi is marrying the woman of his dreams, but is nervous because it took her three years to say yes to him. Dev's mother Camel is in charge of organizing the wedding, and just when she's tired by the incompetence of the staff, she bumps into Sam, who immediately starts flirting with her. She's amazed by how frank he is and is still in shock when Dev comes to pick her up, but she can't leave yet till the bride arrives, so he has to wait. Dev heads to the garden and comes across Maya, and he selfishly wants her to get ready for the wedding sooner so his mother can be free to go home. He knows she's going through something and suggests that it's better to discuss it with a stranger like him. Dev has been married for five years, but thinks of it as a marriage of convenience, since he decided to spend his life with a friend. He has a stable life, but he doesn't think everyone is fortunate in love and that they should settle for whatever they get. Maya admits she hasn't gone through with the wedding yet because she's looking for love, which she hasn't found in Rishi. She loves him like a friend, especially since he and Sam took care of her after her parents passed, but it's not enough to make her fall in love with him. Dev knows Maya might never find the love she's looking for, and suggests that she should settle for stability and happiness with Rishi. She's glad she spoke to him and doesn't let him say goodbye, since she feels it erases all hopes of ever meeting someone again. They go their separate ways, but keep looking back at each other. She goes ahead and gets married to Rishi, while Dev, clearly distracted by their conversation, gets hit by a car and badly injures his leg. Four years later, after the accident ended his career as a football player, Dev is a frustrated man who blames everyone for his misfortunes. He walks around with a limp and is unfazed by people panicking about a criminal called Black Beast, who always wears a black coat and kidnaps kids. He also fat shames a kid for no reason and is unnecessarily rude to Ri all the time, and she feels like she doesn't know him anymore. Meyer is a compulsive cleaner who asks Rishi to take his pants off in the kitchen. While he's excited about the possibility of getting lucky with his wife, she just wants to remove a huge stain. She can't have kids and feels like everything Rishi says is a taunt about her not being able to conceive. He doesn't care about that and just wants to spend some quality time with her. He's always partying, but she never understands the appeal of a happening nightlife and tries to stay far away from all the events he's a part of. Maya wants to discuss how they fit into each other's lives, but Rishi decides to behave like a child again and pretends he can't hear her over the vacuum cleaner. Ri's efforts have made Diva America's second best fashion magazine, but she only wants them to work harder and celebrate when they bag the top spot. Her boss Jai offers her a promotion and wants her to move to London to control all the fashion magazines of the company, but she can't uproot her family life in New York. Sam is threatening to sue Rishi's PR firm if he doesn't organize a party for him with a hundred beautiful women. Rishi doesn't want such a huge event for his father after he's had two heart attacks, but Sam bribes him with his red Ferrari, and he instantly agrees. Dev is now a football coach for the Dolphins, a team of tiny and unaware school kids, including his own son Arjun. He is frustrated by how badly everyone is performing, and when Arjun's path is entirely clear and he can easily score a goal, he chooses to pick up the ball and gives it to the goalkeeper. Arjun knows he has disappointed his father, but Dev just blames Ri for being an absent and busy mother and not supporting her son. She has bought a new PlayStation for Arjun, but Dev taunts her about trying to buy more time for them if possible. He asks Arjun to stay where he is till he buys ticket at the train station, around the same time Maya bumps into Arjun while holding Tanya's hand. When Tanya looks back at Arjun, his heart melts, and he tries to follow her around. Maya drops her off with her mother, but Dev finally finds Arjun lurking around, and is angry that he got lost again. When he threatens to in his usual manner, Maya overhears this and thinks it's the black beast kidnapping a child. She wants to save Arjun, so she grabs him when Dev isn't looking. Since she's running away with his son, Dev thinks she is the black beast and throws a ball at her head. Her fall leads to a leg injury, and while Dev rejoices in his capture of the black beast, he soon recognizes her. The emergency ward gets a call about a patient with a leg injury, referring to Maya, but when Dev turns up with his already existing leg injury, they assume he's the patient and take him to the emergency ward. When Rishi comes looking for his black beast wife, Ri apologizes for her husband's behavior and the confusion. He recognizes her from Diva since he's been trying to get hold of her for business. The nurse apologizes for tranquilizing Dev by mistake, but he's still very angry. Maya finally recognizes him too, but she's frustrated she can't walk for a week because of him. Dev's pain is apparently greater because he can't walk normally at all since he met her for the first time. 
She is still frustrated that he advised her to get married back then, and isn't willing to answer if she's happy in her marriage. She's now a school teacher because she loves kids, but can't have any of her own. When Rishi and Ri turn up, Dev taunts Ri about making time for the family, but she politely apologizes to Maya. They all think Dev is saying random things because he's on that night, Rishi is taking care of Maya, but she can't stop thinking about how rude Dev was to his wife. Rishi thinks she's lucky to have a loving husband like him, and starts kissing her, only to find out that she's fast asleep. Dev and Maya have a similar train schedule, and bump into each other outside the station. She wants to discuss what he said at the hospital, and feels like he has no right to judge others' relationships just because his life is empty. He thinks they're both broken and have a lot in common and wants to discuss that over coffee, but Maya makes an excuse about her husband waiting for her at home. Across the road at the flower shop, they spot Rishi and Ri greeting each other. When Rishi reaches home, he finds Sam in bed with another young woman, and wants them to leave before Maya assumes something about him. Arjun is nervous since he skipped football practice, and is sure Dev will give him hell for it. Camel promises to make an excuse for him to save him from Dev's anger. When Dev comes home, he's already angry, which makes Camel and Ri think he's talking about Arjun skipping football practice. But Dev is suspicious about Ri having an affair with Rishi, and because of all the confusion, ends up thinking Rishi is in the house, and both Ri and Camel are going to sleep with him that night. Maya is also angry when she enters, because she thinks Rishi is cheating on her with Ri, but Sam and Rishi's attempts to hide the girl from her confuse her even more, since they think she's talking about Sam's girlfriend. When the confusion is finally over, Ri clarifies that Rishi was inviting her to his dad's party so she can see his work, and Maya learns that the flowers are from Ri, for her. Ri is surprised Dev thought she was having an affair, but is happy, because him being jealous means that he still cares about her. Dev is still bitter and taunts her about having high standards, and thinks she's embarrassed of his failures. Ri knows she fell in love with the old Dev, and hopes the nicer version of him still exists. Rishi is dancing on his bed, after getting a reaction from his wife that she still cares about him. Meyer is just concerned about them getting late for the party. He asks what she would do if he had an affair for real, and she thinks if he did, she would sit with him and discuss it. He's disappointed, because he wants her to show more passion and drama. When she asks what he would do if she had an affair, he finds the thought of her juggling another relationship very funny. Maya doesn't understand why he doesn't leave her, if she's not a good wife and can't be a mother, and is boring. Rishi knows they both have flaws, but he still does his best to make their relationship work. Camel is organizing this party too, when Sam turns up with his date, and flirts with her. She teases him about turning up with his daughter, but that mildly offends him. Rishi thanks Ri for coming to the party, and Sam comes over to introduce himself. Rishi lightly suggests they should have an affair, since their partners think that, but the conversation is too serious for Sam to handle. When Rishi takes Ri for a drink, Dev stays back and rants to Meyer about how much he hates such parties. Rishi and Sam clearly love to party, and start dancing with Ri, who seems to vibe with them. But Maya and Dev are the clear introverts, who prefer to sulk in the background. Towards the end, when Rishi drags Maya to the floor to dance, she keeps resisting and feels uncomfortable. Sam notices this tiff and makes an announcement calling out her name. He addresses everyone present to inform them that he throws this party every year on this day, since this was the day he met his wife for the first time. It's a way for him to ask her for forgiveness for all the times he didn't prioritize her over work, or didn't tell her how much he loved her. He regrets not spending enough time with her, but wants other couples present in the room to acknowledge their partners, so they don't have to regret anything later. After the party, Camel is happy there's an emotional side to Sam. She's also lonely, and since Sam doesn't have any friends, she offers to be one to him. Meyer and Dev spot them too, and assume there's something going on between them. Dev wants to know Sam's intentions with his mother, but Camel explains that when two people are going through a similar phase in life, it brings them closer. That day, Maya confesses to Dev that her marriage is falling apart, and since she thinks he also understands this situation, she asks if they can be friends, so they can figure out a way to save their marriages. The start meeting every day as friends in cafes and discuss their partners. Maya makes him feel very comfortable, and he feels like he can discuss things with her. Maya is obsessed with a book about marriage, and wants to know her flaws so she can improve them. Dev rudely calls her boring and not sexy, but she wants some positive statements too. He compliments her beautiful eyes, but she still thinks he doesn't know how to talk to women. She takes him to a store to practice what he needs to do with Ri when she comes home after a tiring day. She massages him for the roleplay, and they both make sexual noises, which makes the man sitting on the same bed very uncomfortable. Dev is surprised that, even after Rishi pampers her like this every day, she doesn't love him. But he wants to help her too, and takes her to a store to buy some racy outfits so she can seduce her husband. Jai wants an answer from Ri about the London job, but she's still not sure yet. When Dev comes in, and she mentions she had a tiring day, he tries to massage her like Maya taught him, but fails terribly. Rishi is having a party in the house when Sam opens the door to find Maya blindfolded, 
and in a never-seen-before outfit, ready to seduce Rishi. When she takes off her blindfold, she is embarrassed to see so many people. Maya still thinks they should try to seduce their spouses again, but Dev is tired of trying to save his relationship. He wants to do something for himself, like watching a football match that day, and invites her to join him. During the match, he imagines kissing her, and when they go for dinner, she imagines touching his lips. They're spending a lot of time together, and keep imagining what it would be like to get intimate with the other. Maya decides they should do something special for their wedding anniversaries on the same day, and she starts planning. When the day arrives, they bring their partners to the same restaurant for a special dinner, but can't take their eyes off each other. Re thanks Dev for the wonderful dinner, and informs him about the London promotion she was offered. Dev has already assumed she has taken it, and blames her for always putting herself, and her career over her family. Since he's unwilling to listen, she has to shout back to inform him that she rejected the promotion, since their relationship matters to her. This offends Dev even more, since he feels she's trying to make him feel guilty. He even scolds Arjun for playing the violin at night, and doesn't think Ri has the right to stop him, since he has practically raised their son on his own. She knows she is always busy, but it's only to provide her son with a comfortable life that Dev, as a football coach, can't afford. This hurts his ego, and even she knows he has never loved her, because he only has space for hatred and negativity in his heart. Rishi tries to get intimate with Maya, but there's no response from her, which makes him feel like he's forcing her. He asks her to remember the last time they had sex, and thinks this is about much more than just sharing a bed. He thinks she doesn't want to make any effort in their relationship, and feels like she got married to him as a compromise, not because she loves him. For the first time, in his anger, he also points out that she can't give him a child, but he has never made her feel bad about it. But a line has been crossed and she runs away to the train station, where she meets Dev. She wants him to make her understand why they're both so unhappy in their marriages. When she forces him too much, Dev confesses that from the first time he met her, on her wedding day, he felt like he has known her forever. Now, he misses his train every day to spend more time with her, and keeps thinking about her. He confesses that he loves her, and knows that she reciprocates the feeling. Camel knows Dev is wrong in this situation, but wants Rhi to fight harder for their relationship, since she thinks women are stronger. But Rhi has suffered enough, and is unwilling to do anything till Dev makes an effort. Rishi is preparing to leave for Paris for 10 days, and knows what he said to Maya was mean, but feels that some of those things needed to be put out there. Sam wants him to try to understand Maya, but Rishi doesn't want to understand someone who doesn't love him. Maya and Dev meet at the station again, but they're not sure what to do, now that their marriages have fallen apart. She knows nothing could have happened between them anyway, and they decide to go their separate ways. She keeps remembering what happened with Rishi and Dev, and realizes that she has found love after marriage, and needs to accept it. She runs towards Dev, finally with the understanding that they're happier with each other. Their love story begins, and they create a dream world of their own where they happily live with each other. They get a reality check when Rishi finally comes back from Paris and Ri refuses to talk to Dev. Camel wants to save her son's relationship, and asks Sam for advice. They know only Ri and Rishi can do something in both the cases to save their relationships. They plan to make them meet and discuss their similar situations. They bring Ri and Rishi separately to a toy store, and pretend to bump into each other. Sam flirts with her and takes Camel aside to get help with another woman. Ri needs to leave, so Rishi decides to walk with her. They can't understand why people in New York seem so happy, and then realize it's probably because they're single. They rant about how stressful their marriages are, but they know they're lying to themselves, because they love their partners. Nearby, Dev is planning to meet Maya, and wants to keep talking to her till they meet. Ri and Rishi decide to call their partners to express their love, but they both go straight to voicemail. They leave messages for them, asking them to give their relationship another chance. Rishi drops her there, and Ri continues to walk towards where Dev is standing with flowers. Meyer is walking right behind her, but when they come close enough, Dev calls out to Ri, and Meyer understands she needs to turn away. He gives her the bouquet, but also saves one rose for Maya. When she keeps it on her bed, Rishi thinks it's an indication that Maya wants to apologize to him. Ri feels happy about her relationship with Dev, especially when he's for leaving violin, and assures him that he doesn't have to play football anymore just to please him. Maya finds a clean and decorated house when she gets home, which took Rishi hours to set up. He wants to spend the whole weekend with her to discuss things. Maya apologizes to Dev for not picking up his calls that weekend, and he also pretends he was having a great time with his family. When she shares that Rishi is taking her to the ballet that night, Dev brings Ri there too, and she feels he's more in love with her now. Rishi spots them and comes to greet Ri, but things start taking an awkward turn when Maya and Dev keep praising their partners to make each other jealous. Unaware of what's happening between them, Rishi and Ri feel their partners are finally appreciating them. As the ballet begins, Meyer and Dev keep looking at each other and try their best to get intimate with their partners. This encouragement is enough for Rishi to start kissing Meyer everywhere, which makes Dev very uncomfortable. The next day, Maya doesn't like how they're playing with their partner's feelings, but Dev is still angry about how Rishi was touching her last night. 
He doesn't want to share her with Rishi and can't bear to see her with someone else. He is overwhelmed with emotions and starts kissing her, which she reciprocates. That night, Rishi is happy about his friend getting married and feels like marriage is the happiest thing to happen to someone. Diva is now ranking on the top, and Ri has changed her policy, since she wants all the women to respect their marriages and give more time to their husbands. As Rishi and Ri meet again at the same bar and celebrate the rekindling of their relationships, Meyer and Dev are inseparable, and want to stay in each other's arms. Rishi and Ri keep partying and dancing all night, while Maya and Dev find a hotel room to spend the night. They sleep together for the first time, but feel a lot more guilty after that. Sam brings Maya to Camel's house on her birthday and wants to throw a party for her with just their family members. Maya notices some wedding pictures of Ri and Dev and is feeling guilty when Dev arrives and Sam invites him for the dinner too. As they turn to leave, the look in Dev's eyes disturbs Sam. During dinner, Sam announces he's getting married to Camel, just to mess with Dev, since he wants him to get a sense of humor. Rishi explains that Sam used to be timid in front of his mother and has only been flirting around after she passed away. Ri feels some lines in relationships shouldn't be crossed and asks for Maya's opinion. Rishi answers for her, since he feels Maya doesn't need to worry about her husband. Out of nowhere, Dev starts talking about circumstances that force someone to cheat in a relationship, and declares that he's having an affair with Maya. He lets everyone react or a while before he announces he was joking. But Sam isn't convinced this was a joke, and starts observing Dev more closely. Outside the train station, Maya is angry at Dev for saying such controversial things in front of the whole family. He takes her closer and tries to kiss her, but Sam and Camel spot them. Sam takes Maya home, where she starts panicking, and doesn't know what to say or do. Maya and Rishi bring Sam to the hospital after he gets another heart attack that day, and when he gains consciousness, he asks if Rishi has any messages for his late mother. Rishi can't handle his emotions and leaves, but Sam asks Maya to stay and hold his hand. Maya apologizes for being selfish, but Sam asks her to leave Rishi, so he can get love from someone who also loves him back. He doesn't think it's her fault, and hugs her. Rishi is broken, because he knows his dad is passing, and is happy he at least has Maya. After Sam breathes his last, Maya and Dev know their dream life has ended, and it's time to fix their broken relationships and come clean. Dev seriously confesses that he's been having an affair with Maya for the last six months, and he can't explain why it happened. He wants to give their marriage another chance, but Ri knows if she had cheated on him, he would have never forgiven her. She asks him to leave the house, and slaps him in anger. Rishi's anger knows no bounds after Maya's confession, and he wants to know if she slept with Dev and liked it. He doesn't understand how his love wasn't enough for her, and she needed to find it somewhere else. He ends his marriage with her, and doesn't stop her when she leaves. Camel doesn't want to leave her grandson, so she asks Ri if she can stay with her. When Maya is out of the house with all her bags, she calls Dev and pretends that everything is fine with Rishi. Dev pretends it worked out for him with Ri too, and even if both their marriages are over, they don't make any attempt to contact each other after that. They try to build a new life for themselves, but are always lonely and forever haunted by the past. After three years, Rishi turns up at Maya's new house and shares that he's getting married again, to Catherine. He wants Maya to be his best man, because she's the only family he has left, and he knows she will always be a part of his life. Ri is with Jai now, but doesn't want to make any hasty decisions, since she wants to be more present in her son's life. Dev has a new job in Toronto, and he has come home to visit Arjun before his train leaves in two hours. He knows he doesn't deserve Ri's forgiveness, but wants to bless her. They reach Jai's friend Catherine's wedding, who is getting married to Rishi, which Ri seems confused about. They both clarify that they got divorced three years ago, but know that Maya and Dev don't know about this. Ri asks Maya to not be ashamed of facing her anymore, and doesn't blame her for breaking a marriage which she felt was already broken. She finally informs Maya that she left Dev three years ago, and that she and Rishi want her to find love again and reunite with Dev. Maya rushes to the station, but when Dev spots her, he tries his best to get away from her, since he thinks she's still with Rishi. Before his train is about to leave, Maya finally finds him, but loses him again. The train has left but, somehow Dev deboarded, and he teases her about being overdressed. She explains that they both have been alone for the last three years. Dev gets down on his injured knee and asks her to spend the rest of this miserable life with him. 